high white blood cell count what are the causes white blood cells are vital components of the blood their role is to fight infection and they are essential for health and well-being if a person has a high white blood cell count it may indicate that they have an infection and that the immune system is working to destroy it it may also be a sign that the person is experiencing physical or emotional stress people with particular blood cancers may also have high white blood cells counts a low white blood cell count can signal that something is destroying the cells faster than they are being made or that the body is producing too few of them white blood cells account for approximately 1% of the total blood cells and they are essential to normal immune function white blood cells are also known as leukocytes the white blood cells have a very important function in protecting the body from attack this can be from bacteria viruses or other foreign substances that the body sees as some kind of threat white blood cells are continuously produced in the bone marrow and kept ready within the blood and lymphatic systems until they are needed number and type of white blood cells most people will produce large numbers of white blood cells around 100 billion per day normal reported laboratory levels are between 4000 and 11000 cells per microliter of blood although this can vary according to a person's race there are several different types of white blood cells each with varying responsibilities lymphocytes are vital for producing antibodies that help the body to defend itself against bacteria viruses and other perceived threats neutrophils are powerful white blood cells that destroy bacteria and fungi basophils alert the body to infections by secreting chemicals into into the blood stream mostly to combat allergies eosinophils are responsible for destroying parasites and cancer cells and they are part of an allergic response monocytes are responsible for attacking and breaking down germs or bacteria that enter a person's body when they are needed monocytes travel to other organs such as the spleen liver lungs and bone marrow or they transform into a cell called a macrophage a macrophage is responsible for many cellular functions including removing dead or damaged tissue destroying cancer cells and regulating the immune response high levels of white blood cells an increase in white blood cells is known as leukocytosis it typically occurs in response to the following conditions infection immuno immunosuppression medications such as corticosteroids a bone marrow or immune disorder certain cancers such as acute or chronic lymphocytic leukemia inflammation such as that experienced with rheumatoid arthritis injury emotional stress labor pregnancy smoking allergic reactions excessive exercising certain respiratory illnesses such as whooping cough or tuberculosis may cause the levels of white blood cells to increase in some cases all white blood cells are affected however some people have a specific disease in which only one type of white blood cell is affected if levels of one particular type of white blood white blood cell rise this may be due to a specific trigger monocytes if a person has high levels of monocytes it may indicate the presence of chronic infection and autoimmune or blood disorder cancer or other medical conditions lymphocytes if there is an 
elevation in the level of lymphocytes the condition is known as lympho lymphocytic leukocytosis this may occur as a result of a virus or an infection such as tuberculosis it may also be linked to specific lymph lymphomas and leukemias neutrophils if a person has heightened levels of neutrophils in their body the disorder is known as neutrophilic leukocytosis this condition is a normal physical response to an event such as infection injury inflammation some medications and certain types of leukemia basophils increased levels of basophils may occur in people with a history of underactive thyroid disease known as hypothyroidism or in certain other medical conditions eosinophils if a person registers high levels of eosinophils the body may be reacting to a parasitic parasitic or other infection allergen or asthma sometimes there is no identifiable cause for the rise in white blood cells this is known as idiopathic hyper eosinophilic syndrome it can lead to serious complications such as heart lung liver skin and nervous system damage those affected by idiopathic hyper eosinophilic syndrome may experience some symptoms such as weight loss fevers night sweats fatigue coughing chest pain swelling stomach ache skin rash pain weakness confusion coma other imbalances of white blood cells if levels of white blood cells are lower than usual this may be a sign that the person has a weakened immune system due for example to hiv or aids this deficiency is why people with these diseases are more susceptible to infection abnormal blood cell production is also a feature of cancers such as leukemia and lymphoma a number of conditions collectively known as myelo proliferative disorders can occur in the bone marrow this develop when too many immune immature blood cells are produced leading to an imbalance these are rare conditions that may or may not be malignant signs symptoms and complications if the white blood cell count is too high this can indicate that there is a problem such as cancer or an infection a blood test can be used to assess the white blood cell count and other tests will be needed to pinpoint the exact cause of the problem